Hey Tubies, it's Thank You Bob. Well, I'm just out here combing my hair because it's flying everywhere today. And just doing a quick fashion check before we head out of town. So, what do we got going on? Green face mask, check. Black t-shirt, check. Cool mystical pendant, check. Black jeans, check. Black loafers, check. Louis, check. And I'm bringing my trusty umbrella today because the rains are coming. <laughs> Well, I think we're ready. Let's go out on the town and hang out on Vlog Thursday. Come and party with Psyche Bob. And it's Thursday. You know what that means. We got to do some dumpster diving. So let's see what we got going on over here. Some stuff here. Oh, it might be a treasure or two. You never know. Okay, here's a chest of drawers. I don't want that. I don't need more junk stored. I'm trying to get rid of junk. Uh, looks like old bins, baby stuff. Nothing I see here that's of interest. Carpet, old beat up, looks like it's messed up carpet. That's no good. Oh my gosh, the rubbish bins look full. But I don't see anything sitting. Usually they put also stuff right in here. So there's nothing today, but that's okay. Our sun lord is hiding today. He should be right up in there, but he's sleeping today behind clouds. But that's all right. We're gonna go out on the town. I brought my umbrella because I do think rain's coming. We're going to have fun anyways. You know I never let rain stop me from doing anything. You know when I was growing up, my mom and dad used to say, Well, I don't know if we should go to the store. It's going to rain. And I thought, you're in a modern day car that's waterproof. You have to walk with maybe 10 paces from the store to your car. I don't know. I just never understood the idea of people not doing stuff because of rain. Now, I mean, it would be different if it was like a big tornado, but it's just regular rain. I refuse. I go out in all weather unless it's like a blizzard or a hurricane. Even I'll go out in hurricanes though sometimes because that's kind of fun. <laughs> One time I was out walking, I got in a hurricane. I had to hold on to a tree, literally. So maybe I won't do hurricanes, but it's good to walk. Well, here I am by that little tree I showed you. It's still in lush bloom. It's definitely a storm coming in. But that tree reminds me of the magic of the green man. By the way, I want to say thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. If you didn't see it, it's in the queue right before this one. Definitely check it out. We talked about the magic of the green man. And we learned to make magic cord bracelets. So you want to definitely see yesterday's video to learn how to make your magical charm. Well, let's go on and get some food. I'm hungry. I've been doing readings all morning. I wanted to draw your attention to this beautiful Japanese maple here. You may remember last week I showed you in the video some Japanese maples in that other neighborhood over by the Indochin restaurant. Well, this house here has a Japanese maple in its backyard and I've always loved it because it creeps over the fence here and it just makes a gentle kind of awning to walk under. Isn't that lush? That's definitely green man energy. <laughs> I like it. Well, we're going to go someplace. I don't know if I've taken you there before. Well, I'm not going to tell you till we get closer. It's just a little restaurant, nothing fancy, but just something good to have today. So just hang with us. Uh oh, I'm hearing thunderclouds. Look out. I love these beautiful trees along here. I think this is an elm tree. And up here's an oak tree. Or is that an elm? All sort of trees along here. We're coming up to McDonald's, but we're not going to McDonald's today. I don't feel like going to McDonald's today. Over there are shooters across the parking lot. We're not going to go there either. Where is Psyche Bob taking us today? <gasps> it's a mystery. It's an adventure. You know we have a fun time wherever we go though, don't we? Here we are at Duke, Duke Street. This is a different section of the street. I haven't brought you up here, I don't believe. There's our button. Wait. It says wait. And we push the button. And we're going to go over here and soon hopefully we'll be crossing. They've got the green light. So we're going to have to wait. There goes our bus. Here's Duke Street. This is one street you do not want to run across without using the cross signal. It is very dangerous. Oh my God, just our major thunder over that way. It's starting to sprinkle now. Oh, I better have to put up my umbrella. That's all right. We're waiting for the cross signal. And cars are flying by. And we got the cross signal. We're crossing Duke Street. 
Sega Bob is always careful because even though we have the right of way, people disregard. I don't know why they let cars move on that light when people are in the middle of the crosswalk, but it is actually legal. I don't like it, but I'm very careful. And here we are, we're crossing with a few seconds to spare. I thought you guys would like to see these beautiful apartments up here. I haven't shown you these. That beautiful shrubbery here. There's a lot of green man in I love these trees down through here. It's a canopy of trees. And aren't these just beautiful? You guys get a sense of how lush and green it is here. Really lovely. At night, I've been out walking down the street. And the moon has like shown moonlight. There's been like silver beams of light come down. It's really lovely at night. But actually across the street over there is Shooters where we went yesterday for lunch. You see the big patio sticking out on the corner of the building? That's Shooters. But we're not going there. We're going to go down a different way here. I thought you guys would like to see some of the scenery along the way. Beautiful greenery. That's the one thing about where I live. It's not hard to reverence the green man. You know, he's literally with us everywhere. I tell you, traffic's heavy today. I think everybody's rushing around. But it's so good to be here. Here we are at Shell Gas Station. And this station's been here as long as I can remember, at least 30 years. And it's still the same as it's always been. You can see they work on cars here. They have a really great little shop here. I, I might go there afterwards and get some candy and some snacks. Food Mart. It's really great. I like it. So over there they got diesel fuel. I don't see the sun. Oh, here's their sign way down here with the gas. I'm not going to go all the way over there, but there's their sign. But we're going to go over here. We're cutting through Shell because it's taking us right up to Popeye's Chicken. Yay! That's a fun restaurant, isn't it? All right, so we're going to Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen today. I thought you guys would like that. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to get some food. Here we are, Popeyes. Ooh, ooh, they got so much good stuff. I don't know what I want to get. Well, here we are at the Coke machine. Ooh, I think we're going to get some Coke today. Second Bob needs a little energy boost. Oops, I'm making a mess here. <laughs> a little Coca-Cola never hurts. You know, Second Bob loves his Coke. I should get an endorsement from Coke as much as I promote them. Ooh, that's going to overflow. Ooh, that looks good. A nice frothy cold Coke. We're waiting for our food. They're working on it back there. I got my food and we're going to slide on here in our cozy little booth. Louie's already in there resting. I got my umbrella here. It's time for lunch. You know there's a saying that I love that's everything that is old is new again. And I just opened my straw here that they gave me. And I just realized it's not a plastic straw. It's actually made of paper. And I forgot that in the city of Alexandria now, they're now enacting straw laws um, because they're saying that the plastic straws are damaging animals in the landfill. So like because the plastic won't dissolve and birds are eating them, thinking they're twigs and stuff and getting hurt. And so um, they're now making it like mandatory to have paper straws in all the restaurants. I think it's actually going to be statewide throughout Virginia, actually, but it's around the country in different places. But you know, it's funny, is back in the old days, like in the 1940s, during the World War II era, 1950s, that's all they had was paper straws, you know? And so then paper straws went out of favor because plastic straws came in in like the 50s and 60s. But now we're back to paper straws. <laughs> this is funny how that is. <laughs> all that is old is new again. Remember that, okay? So, you know, if you see something in your life and you say, oh, I love this certain thing, and then it disappears because it's no longer in fashion, just wait a while, it'll come back around because all that is old is new again. Uh, ooh, look what I got. I got macaroni and cheese and coleslaw, and I got the three-piece chicken. Looks like a thigh, a leg, I think that's a breast. I actually didn't, I wanted two thighs, but oh well. I can't take it back now. I already touched it. But anyways, that's all right. I can eat it. And some biscuit. Ooh, and our cold coke. 
It's like Bob's having a Southern boy day, because I'm a Southern boy, and I'm proud of my Southern heritage. I'm a proud Southern American. I eat my Southern American fried chicken. Oh my gosh, Tubi's major drama, thunderstorm. It's like major booming out here. It was like, oh my God, it's freaking torrential downpour. If you guys can see that. It's literally flooding down the street. See if you guys can see that. Look at what it's doing. It's like blowing horizontal and flooding the street. Oh my God. Trees are blowing. This is like a serious storm. Wow. I gotta walk home in that. Let's hope it stops time I have to go. And there's one of the government cars that likes to follow me sometime. That black Mercedes, and I know the tag number. Well, I'm ignoring them. I'm having lunch. I don't have time for this stalking crap. Their coleslaw here is really good. It tastes kind of like my mom's homemade coleslaw. But actually, I think, actually, I think KFC does better coleslaw. But this is a good second, you know. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> well, every day so many of you write me and say, Psychic Bob, what jewelry are you wearing today? Well, let me give you a jewelry toy. Let's check this out. So today for my pendant, I thought I'd bring out an old classic. Whoops. This is from Tibet, and it's a little uh, pendant. It's called a gal. It's a prayer box. But inset, inset with lapis lazuli, that's the blue stone, and it's done in silver and copper. And um, it has the mantra around it, uh, which starts here, Om Mani Padme Hum. It's a six-syllable mantra, Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum, yes, yeah, six. So six syllables, the, the, the syllables, uh, the mantra of Kuan Yin the goddess of mercy. He's one of the goddesses I love, Kuan Yin. So I'm wearing this, and this opens up actually. I've got to put some prayers in it. Um, hold on, let me see if I can open it for you. Okay, there it is. So it's hollow inside, and traditionally what, uh, what happens is if you were in Tibet or in Nepal, you would uh, have a monk who would write inscriptions or prayers like little sigils and you would roll those up and put them inside of it. Now, mine didn't come with scrolls. Some of them do come when you buy them, they have scrolls. But I can make my own mantras and put them in there. And so, just make a little prayer thing, or you could put herbs in there, special crystals. And then you seal it up, and you wear it. And it's a, it's a lovely little pendant. So, that's my necklace I'm wearing. Today I'm also wearing my feng shui, Pijou feng shui. Pijou is like a dragon, that's a dragon and it's called gold and black beads and it's got on the beads printed the mantra Om Mani Padme Hum, same mantra as is on my, my pendant. So I'm wearing mantras today because I just feel like I need that energy around me. And then on my other wrist I'm wearing my purple cord and my green cord. So say Bob's all decked out with his charms today. Piju bracelet, mantra gal box or prayer box. It's called gal in prayer box and then cord bracelets. Am I styling or what? <laughs> well, Tubies, it looks like the rain has stopped and I had such a great lunch. We're gonna head out now and see what's going on. I got my trusty umbrella just in case. But it was fun to go to Popeyes. Haven't been here a long time. Look, the door's locked, let's try this. <laughs> well, that was so much fun to have lunch and here we are back at Shell Gas Station. And while we've got some time now, we'll go over and check the gas prices here. See how gas in America is doing in 2021. So let's take a look here. Oh my goodness. I got some sign here. This is not as big as the Exxon sign. I'm not being endorsed by Shell nor Exxon, just for your information. But it looks like it's up there. Regular is 309. I don't know if this is showing up on camera. I got glare. Plus is 3.59 and B power is 3.69. So there you go. The state of things in America in July 2021. <laughs> and we're gonna head on back. Well, Tubies, it's been a fun time having lunch, and it's good to get out and walk. And we've had pretty good luck. 
I got to the restaurant, then it rained while I was safely inside, then it stopped. Now it's time for me to go home, so I can't complain about that. Tell me, where you live, do you guys have Popeyes? Have you ever been there? What do you think? For those of you who eat fried chicken, do you like KFC or do you like Popeyes? I wanna know, tell me. Or maybe you don't like any chicken. Anyways, if you're a vegan, be tolerant. Don't spam my chat and tell me you hate me and I'm going to hell. I'm not, I'm not playing that game, you know? So we're not gonna get into all that, but for those of you who do enjoy chicken, tell me what your thoughts are. What's your favorite chicken? And here we are coming up among this lush greenery outside this apartment complex. Isn't this lovely? The lovely green trees. I think it's beautiful. So anyways, tell me also guys, do any of you chant the mantra, Om Mani Padme Hum? I want to hear if you've ever worked with that or you know do you wear mantra jewelry or sacred jewelry you know tell me about your jewelry your sacred magical jewelry i want to hear about that as well and here we are outside good old mickey d's the golden arches part of the american landscape <laughs> love it or not it's there <laughs> look at this beautiful tree oh, lovely shrubbery it really is a green man paradise where I live <laughs> so anyways I want to say thank you to all of you who've been registering for the psychic development class thank you for your early registrations it's helped me get a head count for the class and I would uh, love to encourage and invite all of you to come out this Saturday and join our psychic development class it's gonna be on Saturday at 12 o'clock held on zoom and I'm teaching about the fairy folk, the fae people, who they are, how they operate, and how they can become part of your spiritual life. So I hope you'll come and join us for that. I'd love to see you guys out there. What you do is go over to my website, PsycheBob.com, and you can register there. It's $30 for the class, two-hour seminar. Now, let me tell you, where else are you going to get personal one-on-one -on -one training with one of America's top psychics for that price? I'm really giving it away at that price. Some people say, well, Bob, why don't you raise your prices? Well, I'm not about gouging money out of people. And, you know, my psychic development, I paid for it. It was, it was fairly priced. And so I feel like I have an obligation to give psychic development to those who are really serious at a reasonable price. And, you know, I could charge like $300 for a class and I have a lot of people who would pay it. But I also think then you're only serving the wealthy. I'm here to help everybody. So I keep my prices low so more people can come and get the help. So yeah, so register today, $30. You can pay for it at my website. It's all automated over there. If you have any problems, you can give me a call at my office number, 703-825-3929. All of that, those links will be below. But I'd love to see you this Saturday. Well, listen guys, please help me out. If you've enjoyed hanging out with me today, Give me thumbs up, please. It makes a real difference in the ratings. Thumbs up, like this video, add it to your favorite, share with your friends, post it on your Facebook, and tell people about Spirit Channel. And make sure that you're subscribed and tell your friends to subscribe. We'd love to have you here. So listen, keep it here. We got more coming. Tomorrow is Friday, free for all Friday. Not sure what we're gonna do, but we're gonna have an adventure somewhere. Come out, hang out with us, okay? I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your support. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. And until then, may all of you always blessed be.